Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, in case you're not aware, I'm like also a cyber security career coach. You know, I try to help people get into cyber security. Every other week I have like calls with uh, people who are trying to get into cyber security and I try to help them uh, as much as possible. Now, unfortunately, the industry is not doing good right now. There's like a massive, massive amount of people who have done the certifications. They've applied to hundreds and hundreds of job applications. They've maybe watched thousands of hours of YouTube videos and boot camps, but still nothing, unfortunately. And if this that sounds like you, then this video is like a wake up call. Uh, there are certain things that you should be doing to get a job into cyber security. And there are certain things you should be avoiding that will waste your time. So in this video, I'm going to talk about both of them, starting with the distractions, what you should not be doing. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Tamurish Lal. I'm a senior security consultant with Amazon Web Services. I have over 20 plus years of experience in cyber security. And I made this channel basically to help people get, like get jobs, learn about cloud security, AI. So please do like and subscribe to this channel if you're uh, here for the first time. So let's get started. Okay, so what am I talking about here, guys? Now I'm talking about things you should not be doing as they will waste your time. Now your time is very precious. Time is money, as they say. So I don't want you to waste months and like months of your effort and money on doing these things, which unfortunately a lot of people do. These are certain patterns I've seen coaching hundreds and hundreds of people. And despite the fact I've made so many videos and written so many articles, these mistakes are unfortunately still very, very common. So let's go one by one. First of all, the biggest mistake I see people doing it, chasing certifications without a plan. So this is like I always tell somebody that would you hire somebody with a driver's license, but they don't have any driving experience at all. You would not trust that person, right, to be your driver. You'll say, hey, man, please go and get some experience first before you become my driver. So certifications are not the end goal. They are tools, right? What happens is I've seen so many people, they just collect them like trophies. I always say they become like a certification factory. This month they're doing one cert, the next month they will do another cert, another cert, another cert. But they have no practical hands-on experience to back it up, right? They, if I ask them to explain, hey man, how do you secure an S3 bucket or can you write me a good IM policy following least privilege, they will not know. Because why? The problem is they are thinking that the certification alone will get them hired and that is a big mistake. Hiring managers, your CISOs, they want proof of skill, not just paper experience, right? So instead of chasing certifications nonstop, pick one certification that is aligned to your target role. First of all, think about where you want to be in the next 12 to 4, like 6 to 12 months, right? And then pick a certification aligned to that. And then once you have passed it, apply the knowledge, build a lab, write a blog, explain the concepts on LinkedIn, you know, show that you have this knowledge. Prioritize doing over studying. Please, the biggest mistake that you can do is after passing a certification, you jump into another certification and then you jump into another certification. You're simply wasting your time and money. Instead, apply the knowledge that you have gained with that one certification before you move on to another and always check if that aligns with your goal. I have seen people, they have like 15 certifications on their CV and they have no focus, right? They're just jumping from one certification to another. That never gives a good impression about your skills. Okay, the second thing which I've seen, the, the second mistake, unfortunately, I see, do not spend months perfecting your resume. So what happens is people, they spend like weeks, months, making sure their CV is absolutely perfect. You know, the format is beautiful and everything, or they pay people online to make them like an amazing certification, but they forget that the resume is only 50%, right? Resume will get, resume. nobody gets a job because of a resume. They get a job because they were able to like uh, satisfy the interview during the interview. So please work on your soft skills if you're not good at them. If maybe English is not your first language or see, simply you don't have that confidence. So then you are optimizing the wrong thing. You're focusing too much on your resume. Please improve your communication skills and rehearse for interviews. Start doing that because what happens is literally the first five, six minutes, people will make an impression about you. And if you're stuttering, if you're saying, ah, Ian, you're not able to focus on what you want, right? Please, what you want to do is Build two or three solid projects, you know, on GitHub, you know, whatever you want to do, Cloud Lab, Vibe Coded, AI Thread Demo, I have many, many videos on that. Host it on GitHub, write about it, and then rehearse it. Rehearse in front of somebody, you know, explain this project, explain this, and make it seem as if this is a job interview. The more you do it, the more confidence you will build, and then you won't have that problems happening. So please, this is very, very important. I want to give you one free resource, which is my ebook, which is Mastering Cybersecurity Interviews. It's completely free. I'll link it below. You can download it. In this, I talk about the two types of cybersecurity interviews. One is the technical, 
and one is the behavioral interview. Both of them are very, very important to pass. So please do not think that just because your resume looks very, very nice and that that will be enough to land you a job. Make sure that you are practicing and like, you know, rehearsing yourself. So uh, because after applying to so many jobs and once you land an interview and you're not able to make a good impression, all that time will have been wasted. All your certifications, all your resumes will be flushed down the toilet because of 30 minutes and because you did not rehearse your uh, like uh, speaking ability, right? Ability to explain these sort of things. The third mistake I am seeing people making, please do not learn everything like pick a track you know if your linkedin is saying you know like i'm master of devsecops privacy pen testing pc dss governance risk and compliance ai security it's not impressive at all in fact it's confusing and i know for a fact nobody can an expert in all of these things right so you cannot be a jack of all trades first maybe once you're starting out and then you understand pick a track which you feel is future proof i have many many videos on this which are the jobs that are going away which are the jobs which are going to be very much in demand so explore that and then commit and choose a track for three to six months. Go deep enough to, you know, build a project, break or secure something and then pick like uh, uh, highlight that experience, right? Otherwise, how will anybody know what you like, how good you are? Uh, uh, you need to show your expertise in that thing, right? So please do not be a jack of all trades that you're trying to do anything. Like, you know, a little bit about everything, but you have not deep dive into anything. I, I used to make the same mistake before I became, I wanted to become an expert on cloud security and AI security. And that's what I've been focusing on for the past few years. So please do not become like a journalist who knows a little bit about everything. And the fourth mistake now I see people is using LinkedIn only to apply for jobs. What do I mean? So LinkedIn, what happens is people tell me, uh, I ask them, what are you doing on LinkedIn? They say, I just go to LinkedIn and do the easy apply, you know, the easy apply. And then just I, I, I do 10 easy applies per day. The unfortunate thing is that's good. I'm not saying you shouldn't be doing that. But LinkedIn is not just a job platform. OK, people think that I put that open to open to hire and I'm applying for jobs. That's enough. LinkedIn is also a social media network, right? If you do not have a network, maybe you don't know anybody. Let's assume you don't have any network. Okay, in cybersecurity, LinkedIn is an excellent place to build that. Start reaching out to people in your target world where you want to be, right? And then, you know, just sending them a direct message, to, uh, like building up your network. Consistently try to write posts or comment on what's happening within the industry. Share your learning, your labs, your journey on LinkedIn, right? But what people do, unfortunately, is they copy paste from ChatGPT and they think that people don't know this. It's very easy to find out if you're just copy pasting stuff from ChatGPT. Believe me, it's very, very easy to know. If you do it consistently and you're able to build a proper brand on LinkedIn, your hiring manager, CISO, will recognize your name even before your resume hits. They will say, oh, okay, this is this, that guy who talks about this stuff. You will not know how many people have reached out to me simply because of LinkedIn and LinkedIn posts, not because of my profile. They saw something they liked and it resonated with them and they reached out to me, right? So again, this is very, very important. Do not use LinkedIn just as a job uh, submission portal, okay? It's not like Indeed. Again, if you want help on this, I have an ebook. I'll. Uh, uh, it, it's more about becoming a LinkedIn top voice. You know how to build, build your brand on LinkedIn. I'll make it free for this uh, particular video. You can go down in the comment section. It will be there. You can download it completely for free. I've made it free for this video. So please check that out. If you are new to LinkedIn and you want to understand how to become a LinkedIn top voice, believe me, this is the uh, book for you and I'm sure it'll help you out. So that's another resource I want you to take a look at. Now, what does, now don't fear AI, learn how to use it. And this, I've made many, many videos about this. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but believe me, I, you don't know how many people I know still that their extent, their involvement with AI is using chat GPT. So instead of really learning about AI, they're just like using chat GPT to, you, you know, copy paste some stuff. And then it, you need to deep dive into AI because this will be the defining technology of the next 10 years. No matter how much people say it will go away, it's just hype. Learn about Gen AI, Agentic AI, you know, how to use it, how to review the architectures. Uh, I have many, many courses on Udemy. You can check that out. All my own videos. You can check that out, right? Build a project using LinkedIn, uh, sorry, using AI. Learn vibe coding. Nowadays, you can just do coding and make a build a complete application using AI. So these are all the options that are available to you. Check out my videos on this. Please, you need to have, you need to become AI literate. And AI literate does not mean knowing how to use chat GPT or Claude. That's not it. It means knowing the terminologies, knowing how to security assess and risk assess and build a project using AI. Before learn, before doing a security review of AI, build something using AI and then do a security review of it. Okay, so that's 
So what are the things I'm telling you you should be focusing on? Now, these are the things which I always tell people. First of all, your projects are greater than your certs. So do something, you know, secure an AWS environment. I'm biased towards AWS because I work there, but you can do any cloud environment, you know, just as an example, you don't have to do cloud. Build something, you know, like a threat detection tool. Maybe use Vibe coding to generate something, but build a project more than you focus on certifications. Treat LinkedIn like a branding machine, you know, instead of clicking easy apply to every job, Use it to build your credibility and visibility within the market, right? Secondly, people are creating better than job boards. You will not believe the vast amount of time in the industry, it is your referrals that get you a job. If you're saying, I don't have a network, then build your network on LinkedIn. You can, you can build your credibility there. The fourth one is clarity over confusion, which is please pick a path. Don't jump from one field to another. You find out this pay field is paying more, I'll jump there. You find out this field maybe has better perks, I'll jump there. So you're like hopping from one area to another. Please become an expert in one particular area. Become the go-to guy in that area. And like, like I said, visibility is greater than perfection. Don't be shy to post on LinkedIn. You know, publish your learning on LinkedIn. If you don't like LinkedIn, maybe you don't like writing, hey, there's YouTube, there's TikTok, whatever. Build, choose a platform and then use it to... Uh, basically increase your uh, portfolio, your reach. And that can be a very, very powerful tool because you're building credibility, right? Don't be afraid of like making mistakes. People say, I'll say something wrong and make, people make fun of me. Multiple times I've said things wrong on YouTube and people have like, you know, put negative comments. No issue, that's, that's how the life is. Don't be shy about these sort of things, you know? So th these are the areas I really wanted you to focus on. These are the mistakes I'm seeing people commonly making. And unfortunately, they lead to a lot of time being wasted. So please, these are the areas I do. I want you to avoid as much as possible. And these are the areas I want you to focus on. Like I said, I will be leaving two free resources within the comment section. Do check them out. And I hope they help you in your cybersecurity career journey. Uh, I hope this was useful to you. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.